The Mazda RX-7 is a front-engine, rear-wheel drive, rotary engine-powered sports car that was manufactured and marketed by Mazda from 1978 until 2002 across three generations, all of which made use of a compact, lightweight Wankel rotary engine. The first-generation RX-7, sometimes referred to as the SA, early, and FB, late, is a two-seater, two-door hatchback coupe. It featured a 12A carbureted rotary engine as well as the option for a 13B rotary engine with electronic fuel injection in later years. The second-generation RX-7, sometimes referred to as the FC, was offered as a two-seater coupe with a 2 plus 2 option available in some markets, as well as in a convertible body style. This was powered by the 13B rotary engine, offered in naturally aspirated or turbocharged forms. The third-generation RX-7, sometimes referred to as the FD, was offered a 2 plus 2 seater coupe with a limited run of a two-seater option. It featured a sequentially turbocharged 13B REW engine. More than 800,000 RX-7s were manufactured over its lifetime, 1, Series 1, 1978-1980. Series 1, produced from 1978 until 1980, is commonly referred to as the SA-22C from the first alphanumeric of the vehicle identification number. Mazda's internal project number for what was to become the RX-7 was X605. In Japan, it was introduced in March 1978, replacing the Savannah RX-3, and joined Mazda's only other remaining rotary engine-powered products, called the Cosmo which was a two-door luxury coupe, and the loose luxury sedan. The lead designer at Mazda was Matasaburo Maeda, Maeda Matasaburo, whose son, Ikuo, would go on to design the Mazda 2 and the RX-7 successor, the RX-8-2, the transition of the Savannah to a sports car appearance reflected products from other Japanese manufacturers. The advantage the RX-7 had was its minimal size and weight, and the compact rotary engine installed behind the front axle helped balance the front and rear weight distribution, which provided a low center of gravity. In Japan, Sales were enhanced by the fact that the RX-7 complied with the Japanese government dimension regulations, thus Japanese buyers were not liable for yearly taxes for driving a larger car. The rotary engine had financial advantages to Japanese consumers in that the engine displacement remained below 1,500 cubic centimeters, 1 1.5 L, a significant determination when paying the Japanese annual road tax. This kept the obligation affordable to most buyers while having more power than the traditional engines having a straight-cylinder configuration. In May 1980, Mazda introduced a limited production run of special North American models known as the Leather Sport models. This package was essentially an uprated GS model with added LS badges on each B-pillar, special stripes on the exterior, and LS-only gold anodized wheels, with polished outer face and wheel rim. All LS editions came equipped with special LS-only full brown leather upholstery, leather-wrapped steering wheel, leather-wrapped shift knob, removable sunroof, LS-specific 4-speaker AM-FM stereo radio with power antenna, though listed as a 6-speaker stereo, as the two rear dual voice coil speakers were counted as 4 speakers in total, remote power door side mirrors, and other standard GS equipment. Two primary options were also available, a 3-speed JATCO 3N71B automatic transmission and air conditioning. Other GS options such as cassette tape deck, splash guards, padded center console armrest and others could be added by the dealer. The LS model was only ever available in three different exterior colors, Aurora White, Brilliant Black, and Solar Gold. No official production records are known to exist or to have been released. This series of RX-7 had exposed steel bumpers and a high-mounted indentation located rear license plate, called by Werner Bueller of Road and Track magazine a Baroque Depression. The Series 2, referred to as the FB, produced from 1981 to 1983, had integrated plastic-covered bumpers, wide black rubber body side moldings, 
wraparound taillights and updated engine control components. While marginally longer overall, the new model was 135 pounds 61 kilograms lighter in federalized trim. 3. The four-speed manual option was dropped for 1981 as well, while the gas tank grew larger and the dashboard was redesigned, including a shorter gear stick mounted closer to the driver. 3. In 1983, the 130 miles per hour, 209 kilometers per hour speedometer returned for the RX-7. The GSL package provided optional four-wheel disc brakes, front-ventilated, Australian model, and clutch-type rear limited-slip differential, LSD. This revision of the SA-22 was known in North America as the FB after the U.S. Department of Transportation mandated 17-digit vehicle identification number changeover. For various other markets worldwide, the 1981-1985 RX-7 retained the SA-22C VIN prefix. In the UK, the 1978-1980 Series 1 cars carried the SA code on the VIN but all later cars, 1981-1983 Series 2 and 1984-1985 Series 3, carried the FB code and these first-generation RX-7s are known as the FB only in Northern America. In Japan, a very well-appointed version similar to the export market GSL arrived late in 1982, called the S Limited. This model received two-tone paint, alloy wheels shaped like the Wankel rotor, all-wheel disc brakes, limited slip differential, and a full leather interior. It also had the latest iteration of the 12A rotary engine, the RE-6PI with variable induction port system and 140 PS, 103 kilowatts, 138 horsepower, dot, 4. In Europe, the FB was mainly noticed for having received a power increase from the 105 PS, 77 kilowatts, of the SA-22, the 1981 RX-7 now had 115 PS, 85 kilowatts, on tap. European market cars also received four-wheel disc brakes as standard, 5. The Series 3, produced 1984 to 1985, featured an updated lower front fascia. North American models received a different instrument cluster. GSL package was continued into this series, but Mazda introduced the GSLSE submodel. The GSLSE had a fuel injected 1,308 cubic centimeters, 1 1.3 L. 13B REG engine rated at 135 horsepower, 101 kilowatts, 137 PS, and 133 LBFT, 180 Nm. GSLSE models had much the same options as the GSL, clutch type rear LSD and rear disc brakes, but the brake rotors were larger, allowing Mazda to use the more common lug nuts, versus bolts, and a new bolt pattern of 4 by 114.3 mm, 4 by 4.5 inch. Also, they had upgraded suspension with stiffer springs and shocks. The external oil cooler was reintroduced, after being dropped in the 1983 model year for the controversial Beehive water oil heat exchanger. The 1984 RX-7 GSL has an estimated 29 mpg, 8.11 liters slash 100 km, highway slash 19 mpg, 12.37 L slash 100 km, city. According to Mazda, its rotary engine, licensed by NSU Enkel allowed the RX-7 GSL to accelerate from 0 to 80 km per hour, 50 miles per hour, in 6.3 seconds. In 1985, Mazda introduced the RX-7 Finale in Australia. This was the last of the series and brought out in limited numbers. The Finale featured power options and a brass plaque mentioning the number the car was as well as, last of a legend, on the plaque. The Finale had special stick the handling and acceleration of the car were noted to be of a high caliber for its day, citation needed, the RX-7 had live axle, for link rear suspension with watts linkage, a 50-50 to 50 front and rear weight distribution, 
and weighed under 1,100 kilograms, 2,425 pounds. It was the lightest generation of the RX-7 ever produced. 12A powered models accelerated from 0 to 97 kilometers per hour, 60 miles per hour, in 9.2 seconds, and turned 0.779 g, 7.64 meters per square second, laterally on a skid pad. The 1,146 cubic centimeters, 1 1.1 L, 12A engine was rated at 100 horsepower, 75 kilowatts, 101 PS, at 6,000 RPM in North American models, allowing the car to reach speeds of over 190 kilometers per hour, 120 miles per hour. Because of the smoothness inherent in the Wankel rotary engine, little vibration or harshness was experienced at high engine speeds, so a buzzer was fitted to the tachometer to warn the driver when the 7,000 RPM redline was approaching dot curves in a blacked-out section between the window and rear hatch.